Welcome back to the empty nest. Our next destination brings us to one of the most beautiful places we've seen so far on this journey, and it's in Arizona. Surprise, Apache Junction. We stayed at the KOA journey there, and our first day, we took a hike six miles long on the side of Superstition Mountain. The terrain there is extremely rocky, and even though it looks like it's a short distance to the mountain, it felt like we were never going to get there. We also stumbled across a gentleman eating his lunch. We had no idea he was even close to us. This is what a dog looks like 10 seconds after you pull out of the parking lot after a six mile hike in the rocks. On the next day, we went down to the Salt Lake River where we saw the wild horses. Even though these horses are wild and they roam through the mountains, because of the drought this year, they're bringing them hay. This is a video of the horses when they heard the hay truck coming. They were all moving towards it. We met a really great group of people at the KOA that we played ping pong with every night. Shout out to them. They're from Idaho and Montana. The next day, we took a journey up the Apache Trail to Tortilla Flats, one of the most beautiful and scenic drives I've ever been on in my life. The first stop was Canyon Vista Lake, and we stopped there to take a few pictures and just check out the scenery. It is unbelievable, especially for people that were born in the Midwest. When we made it to Tortilla Flats, that is an awesome town. This was a Monday, and this is what we heard. Well, I keep working every day. All you want to do is play. I'm tired of staying all night. Have you well, ever I'm heard of a pork Sunday? Me either. But Tortilla Flats is the home of it, and John said it was delicious. We then traveled on to the end of 88, which is the Apache Trail, to where it's closed down now because of a fire, and it literally looks like you can fall off the end of the earth. You haven't lived until you come around the corner in a big canyon, and you look over and you see this great big hawk looking over at you, and you're eye to eye with this hawk, and you're on a dual sport bike. It's pretty cool. If you ever get the opportunity to travel to Arizona, up the Apache Trail, to Tortilla Flats, I highly recommend it. It'll be well worth your time. It's beautiful. The next day, we went to the Lost Dutchman State Park. There we were able to take the dogs on a hike straight up the side of the mountain, or at least it felt like it. The elevation change was pretty intense, but when we got to the top, the view was like none other. We headed across the street to the Goldfield Mine Ghost Town. This was a place back in the day where they mined for gold. We went to the saloon and of course the church that has a gun range in it. Then we headed to Saguaro Lake and we went to the Shiprock restaurant. That's on the other side of the Apache Trail and it was gorgeous as well. We were able while we were there to meet up with some friends, the Bannings, have dinner and have a great time at the casino. The next day we headed over to Mesa where we visited Waylon Jennings' grave and we paid our respects. We then sold our pop-up to this fantastic couple and their daughter. And this is a map of the places that we've been so far. Thought I'd let you tell you a little flip. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. Let me think about this map. <laughs> Okay. Ready? You just never. You, 